This is called The Failure of Poetry in the Middle Seat. On this flight, there will be no poetry. Mother scrubs the tray, seat arms, and magazines. All that others have touched. Cold, no, hot, restless. She jerks off her jacket arms, struggles to disengage, wads the jacket pushing it behind her back. Every entertainment system is different. Earphones fight with hearing aids. What is this movie? Why do they make movies like this? Not for her, scribbled observations on a damp napkin or on the slick peanut wrapper, which would be interesting. Mother struggles to grip the bulging carry-on just pushed under the seat. She needs an item that she, immediately. She hunts for the dangling seat belt, clicking it first thing. Those are the rules. With the weary efficiency of a flight attendant lecturing distracted passengers, she orders the usual black coffee. The napkin with words cleans the spills. Just a one-off on traveling with an older person. Um, we started to board early about two years ago with my mother shuffling along and me carrying all of it, everything. And I just, I walk by women my age who just look at me with the deepest of sympathy. And I appreciate that. So if you ever have watched a younger person hustling along their elderly parent or grandparent and you gave them you know, a sympathetic nod, thank you for that, because it's not easy. And sometimes I like to fly either alone or with just my husband, just so I don't have all of the struggle. That's, that's, that's something I look forward to. But um, it's what it is. And at some point, I'd like to be able to write more poetry in an airplane without all the distractions and without having to, again, order black coffee for my mom.